Running Bear thought the white man was crazy and would sooner cleave his skull with a tomahawk than put the tribe's fate in his hands. But Roscoe T. Culpepper had faced much tougher crowds selling snake oil from the back of his wagon at Fort Laramie. These red heathens are pushovers, he said to himself. You won't need fancy repeating rifles to defeat the white soldiers when you have the magic power of the fizz gig. The traveling merchant had secured a wagon load of spinning Chinese fireworks during a visit to San Francisco and was peddling the pyrotechnics at a premium price to tribes along his route back east. Just light it and watch as the whirling dervish of fire sends the blue coats running in fear. Here, give it a try. The fizz gig sputtered to life with a showering arc of sparks and began spinning away. Eyes widened among the elders as it picked up speed and headed into the brush, only to suddenly turn and come back toward the crowd. The fizz gig had collided with an unfortunate aardvark making its way to a nearby watering hole. The animal shook off the fiery hit without injury, but that sent the rolling sparkler on a direct path toward running bear's teepee. The men scattered as the fizz gig plowed into the deerskin homestead, setting it aflame. With smoke billowing from his teepee, Running Bear glared at Culpepper, who was always ready to turn lemons into lemonade. The wheels turned for a moment before a smile crossed his face. Gentlemen, Culpepper said, now didn't I tell you this was the ultimate weapon of destruction? So, how many will you take? 